Hi, I'm going to demonstrate a provision and deprovision of Qvert using an APB. So looking at my terminal window, I'm looking at the cube system namespace. This is primarily where Qvert is going to be launched and the pods will show up here after I provision the Qvert application. So going to the UI, this is what the UI looks like when with the service catalog and the the Ansible service broker attached. You can see all the apps that are available in the service catalog. We're going to focus on the Qvert APB. This APB is special compared to some of the other APBs that are listed here. It's what we call a system APB. So a system APB is something that is primarily launched one time, something that is going to sit in your cluster and it's going to be managing resources. So it's going to sit alongside something like the the, Q, the Kubernetes API or the Kubernetes Controller Manager. So that's why um, we're going to launch this in the Cube system namespace. And it's going to be managing resources that are going to be in the cluster. So it's going to be interacting things at the cluster level. So it's going to be touching things in different namespaces. So it needs a lot of access in our cluster. So to to provision this application of uh, using the UI, we're going to click on the Qvert APB. Uh, we're going to click next on the menu, and next we come to configuration. Here are some of the parameters right now that we need to provision the Qvert APB. Starting with the admin user and password, and right now we have a release tag. There's going to be more in the future as we add more components in it that we want to attach to Qvert. Um, like what backend storage, if you want to cluster staff, if you want to include Cinder, um, any other things that we want as components are going to be added later. So we're going to create the Qvert APB and we're going to look at our cube system namespace. So this shows the list of the provision services in our cube system namespace. Right now that is the Qvert APB. So we should see the deployment coming up like we just did of the Vert controller. So we actually can go back to the cube system namespace and look at the pods and we can see that they're being created right now. So we should see them come up and be healthy in just a moment. And now they're running. So the next steps is we're going to run a deprovision of the Qvert APB. All we have to do to do this is to click this menu, click delete, and now that will trigger a deprovision. Deprovision is going to run the deprovision playbook for the Qvert APB. So that's going to go through and delete all the resources that we have previously provisioned. So we can see that happen live. So we can see the resources are being terminated one by one as the AP goes, APB goes through and deletes them. Okay, so everything is terminating and Livern is the last one to be terminated. And that should just finish up in a second. Okay, so we have no more resources, so that completes our deprovision. For future work, uh, you can follow along in the Qvert Ansible repo. That's primarily where the future work for the Qvert APB is going to be. I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching.